Have you ever wondered what made Elvis Presley the king of rock and roll, the cultural icon he is today? This man, known for his flamboyant style and soulful music, left an indelible mark on the world, changing the face of music and pop culture forever. But how did he rise to such an esteemed status? Let's take a step back to the beginning, to 1935, in a small town called Tupelo, Mississippi. Elvis Aaron Presley was born into a humble family, living a simple life that gave no hint of the grandeur that lay in his future. His passion for music was evident from a young age, influenced by the gospel tunes that filled his local church and the blues and country music he heard on the radio. In 1948, when Elvis was just 13, his family made a significant move to Memphis, Tennessee. This change in scenery was more than just a shift in location. It was a catalyst, a turning point in young Elvis's life. Memphis, known for its vibrant music scene, was the perfect incubator for Elvis's budding talent. It was here that he would get his first taste of the music industry. Igniting a spark that would eventually set the world of music ablaze, Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, didn't just appear out of nowhere. He was a product of his environment, his experiences, and his unyielding passion for music. His journey from a simple boy in Mississippi to a global phenomenon is a testament to his talent, charisma, and sheer determination. As we delve deeper into his life, we'll find out what made this ordinary boy from Mississippi the king of rock and roll. A journey full of trials, triumphs, and a whole lot of rock and roll. So, stay tuned as we unearth the story of the Unseen King, the legend that is Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley didn't become the king overnight. His journey was a blend of talent, hard work, and an undeniable charisma. Born in the heart of the Mississippi Delta, Elvis was captivated by music from a young age. In a time when the radio was king, the airwaves filled his humble home with the soulful sounds of gospel, country, and rhythm, and blues. At the tender age of 11, Elvis received his first guitar, a simple, inexpensive instrument. Yet it was the catalyst that sparked the young boy's passion for music. While others his age were out playing ball or fishing, Elvis could be found strumming chords and crafting melodies. He was a self-taught musician, learning by ear and fueled by an insatiable desire to create. As he moved into his high school years, Elvis began to share his gift with others. He would perform at local talent shows, impressing audiences with his unique blend of musical styles. His performances were raw, heartfelt, and filled with an energy that was contagious. People couldn't help but take notice. Elvis's talent eventually caught the attention of Sam Phillips, the owner of Sun Records. Impressed by the young man's raw talent and unique sound, Phillips decided to give him a chance. Elvis recorded his first single, That's Alright, at Sun Records in 1954. The song was a hit locally, and it paved the way for Elvis's future success. Shortly after, Elvis signed a contract with RCA Victor. It was here that Elvis recorded his first RCA single, Heartbreak Hotel. The song was an instant success, reaching number one on the Billboard charts. It was a ballad of loneliness, a song that resonated with many. Its success marked a significant turning point in Elvis's career. With his first RCA single, Heartbreak Hotel, hitting number one, Elvis was on his way to stardom. The boy from the Mississippi Delta, who once strummed chords on a simple guitar, was now stepping into the limelight as the king of rock and roll. At the height of his career, Elvis Presley was more than a singer. He was a phenomenon. In the late 50s and throughout the 60s, Elvis's career was a whirlwind of success that few could match. His music was not just chart-topping, it was genre-defining. From the passionate rhythm of Heartbreak Hotel to the soulful crooning of Can't Help Falling in Love, his songs echoed through every radio and jukebox across the nation. His voice, a unique blend of country, gospel, and rhythm and blues, was the soundtrack of a generation. But Presley's reign was not confined to the airwaves. He also took the silver screen by storm. With over 30 films under his belt, Elvis showcased his acting chops, often playing the charming, good-hearted protagonist that audiences couldn't help but adore. His movies, much like his music, were a testament to his diverse talent, ranging from light-hearted musicals like Blue Hawaii to dramatic pieces such as King Creole. Yet it was not just his talent that made Elvis a king. It was his charisma, his style, 
and his ability to connect with people. With his trademark sideburns, slicked back hair, and flashy outfits, he was a sight to behold. His performances were electrifying, his energy infectious. Elvis didn't just perform on stage, he owned it. Then came the iconic 68 Comeback Special. After a two-year hiatus due to military service, Elvis returned to the stage, reminding the world of his unrivaled talent. Dressed in black leather, he delivered a performance that was raw, real, and utterly mesmerizing. It was a reminder that Elvis had not lost his touch, that he was still the king of rock and roll. Even after his two-year hiatus due to military service, his popularity didn't wane. It only increased. Elvis's reign was not just a period of success. It was an era of cultural shift, an era defined by the king himself. But even kings have their struggles, and Elvis Presley was no exception. As the 70s rolled in, so did a wave of challenges for the king of rock and roll. Elvis's personal life was a tumultuous storm, his marriage to Priscilla Presley ending in divorce in 1973. It was a heavy blow, a personal heartbreak that cast a long shadow over his life. But the trials didn't stop there. Health issues began to plague the superstar, a consequence of years spent in the fast lane. His once robust physique started to falter, his energy levels took a hit, and his dynamic performances began to wane. It was as if the king's crown was slowly slipping, his reign seemingly nearing its end. Amidst these physical battles, Elvis also grappled with an unseen enemy. Addiction. Prescription medications, initially taken to manage his health issues, became a crutch, a dependency he couldn't shake off. It was a battle he fought in private, away from the adoring gaze of his fans. A struggle that added to the weight of his already heavy crown. Yet, in the face of adversity, Elvis didn't retreat. He didn't surrender his throne. Instead, he continued to perform, to share his love for music with the world. His concerts were still packed. His voice still resonated with the raw emotion that had made him a superstar. His performances were a testament to his resilience, to his unwavering dedication to his craft. The 70s were a challenging period for Elvis, a decade marked by personal heartbreak and professional struggles. But through it all, his love for music never waned. It was the constant in his life, the beacon that guided him through the storm. The King's fall was not a sudden plunge, but a gradual descent, marked by battles fought both in public and in private. Yet even as he grappled with these challenges, Elvis remained true to his art, his passion for music never diminishing. Despite his struggles, Elvis continued to perform, his love for music never wavering. Elvis Presley may have left us, but his influence on music and pop culture remains. Though the king of rock and roll drew his last breath in the summer of 1977, his legacy continues to reverberate through the corridors of time. The news of his demise sent shockwaves around the world. Fans wept openly in the streets, radio stations played his hits on repeat, and Elvis became immortalized as a legend, a symbol of an era that had passed. His death marked the end of an era, but not the end of his influence. His music, a revolutionary blend of blues, gospel and country, shaped the future of rock and roll. His infectious energy, his unique voice, and his charismatic performances changed the way we experience music. Today, his songs are still played and loved by millions. They've become timeless classics, enjoyed by generations, transcending the boundaries of age and culture. But Elvis's influence extends beyond his music. He redefined what it meant to be a pop icon. His flamboyant style, his controversial dance moves, his unabashed passion. These elements of his persona broke social norms and set new standards. He became a cultural phenomenon, a symbol of rebellion, freedom, and individuality. His impact on pop culture is as profound as his impact on music, shaping the way we perceive and interact with celebrity culture. His legacy did not end in 1977. His music is still celebrated, studied, and loved. His influence is still felt in every corner of the music world. Every rock star, every pop icon, every musical rebel stands on the shoulders of this one man from Tupelo, Mississippi. The king may be gone, but his spirit lives on. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, lives on in the hearts of music lovers around the world. His story is a testament to the power of music, charisma, and the human spirit.